Hi, I'm Matthew, and this is my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you. Today, on Will It Shave Wednesday, I'm going to talk about how I bowl lather. Now, with this hobby, uh, it's like anything else. It really comes down to preference and what you like. So I'm going to cover three things that I think is important to think about whenever you're lathering. Number one is what type of brush you're going to be using. So if you look at this Omega Bore brush, you have to kind of realize that it is important to soak your brush because the natural hair will actually absorb some of the water. And if you don't thoroughly um, soak it, as you're trying to bowl lather, it can uh, affect your results. So that's the number one thing that I want to talk about versus, well, here's a badger brush. It's going to do the same thing. It's a lot softer. Uh, you're going to have to soak it. Now, if you have a synthetic brush like this one, uh, it's not really going to soak any water up, but the water will, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of, well, do I want to say saturate? No, the, the water is just going to sit on the outside of the hairs. So it's not going to eat your lather. All right, so number two, I would say, is water. So if you have hard water, it can affect the way that your lather comes out. I use tap water. I don't have any issues with it. If you find that you're having some issues, I would go to your local store and pick up some distilled water, get a gallon of it, it'll last you a long time. Number three is consistency. If you try to do the same thing repeatedly, you're going to have the same results. And so that's why I've kind of went to uh, this method that I'm going to show you because I kept getting questions. I used to just wet my brush give it a little shake and whatever water was in there, I would go ahead and bowl lather. If I needed more water, I would add it. And there's no way to gauge that. So let's get to the sink and I'll show you how I do this. I like to use hot water. So I will run the water for a little bit and then fill up my coffee mug. And would you guess it? All you gotta do is let her soak. You can take any soap that you like. I'm just gonna use Sterling for today. And <clears throat> I like to use a quarter of a teaspoon or 1.25 milliliters. And so I'm just going to scoop it, scrape it off the top there. And remember, consistency is what we're going for. So I just kind of scoop off the top, and then you can see there was a little air pocket. So I'll grab some more. All right, I'll call that good. So we'll set the soap down. And one of the things I always thought was kind of nice, I don't know if it's just by design or what, but... Uh, on those shave bowls, there's always just this little perfect area here that seems to be like it holds a quarter of a teaspoon really nice. And if you can't get everything off your finger, just smear it around in there until it all comes off. So we still have our brush soaking. I usually do this just before I get in the shower. All right, so everybody's probably got some form of a medicine dropper. If you don't, just run to your local pharmacy and ask for one. Uh, don't buy one. They've got them set on the shelf. But anyway, this is just a way uh, to be consistent. And so I will take 10 milliliters right off the bat. And if you get too much, just... All right, now our brush is done soaking. And I'm just going to take this and squeeze out whatever's in there and maybe even give it a shake. So we'll set our cup out of the way. We've got our soap that's been sitting there. And I will immediately add three milliliters of water 
or just take it down to the seven. And then I will take my brush, and there's no water in there, and I'll just kind of swirl that around, and we'll just kind of start lathering here. And if you go too fast or add too much water, see how these bubbles will be really big. So just kind of go slow. And uh, I mean, if, if your bubbles get too big, you can just kind of slow down or even set it down and come back in a little bit and those will be gone. But just for the sake of the video, we'll just kind of go a little bit quicker. All right, so as you can see, there's still a little bit of soap down in the bottom and it's, it's uh, very thick. So we're gonna go ahead and add another three milliliters of water and we're gonna continue to add. And it kind of looks like at first that maybe you've added too much water, but just continue lathering. My hands look massive in there. If you feel like your brush is loading up too much, you can always just kind of rub it on the edge of the bowl and if you don't like that, you can always work that back out and then put it into the bowl like that. All right, so now I feel like, since I know this soap, we're going to go ahead and add the other four milliliters. And <clears throat> we're just going to keep lathering up. And I got some of that on my finger. And this is a little bit time consuming. But I feel like once you get your routine down, it's easy to just kind of go back and follow suit. Now, and of course, you don't have to do this. Uh, like I said, you can just wet your brush and do the shake method. You know, some guys will come over and grab a little on their hand and then shake it in the bowl. But uh, if you're going for consistency or you want the same thing every time, this is what I do. And... It may not work for you, or it might work really well. So, this is just a, you know, a way to make a little bit more fun out of the hobby. And this is what I have found works. You could probably add two or three more milliliters of water. But here's what we're looking at so far. I like to get it where it's a little bit bloopy. Because if you're lather is a little thick it becomes difficult to rinse out of the razor and if you're taking your time shaving it will start to dry up on you so like i said this is a preference thing so whenever you find uh, what you like as far as a lather if you like it thicker or thinner you just have to adjust your process All right, let's see here. See, the it doesn't really have the wiggle. You could add some more. And if you're doing like a pre-shave with a glycerin soap or a cube, you probably want to go a little bit thinner. So you would want to add more water because that soap that you apply for a pre-shave is going to kind of suck up a little bit of that, a little bit of that water. So here's what I have. It looks pretty good to me. Let's do a little lather test on it. And if you haven't checked out my video on how much soap do you actually need, go check that out. It's uh, pretty interesting. And I was surprised at how much you can actually get out of a quarter of a teaspoon. And you can't really see it from this angle, but to me, that is a perfect lather. Uh, excellent. I think that would perform well. Well, there you go. That's how I bowl lather. Some people might say there's a fourth element to the process, which would be the soap. But I say nay, nay, because once you get your technique down, someone, you know, could give you a random soap that you've never used before. And you should be able to apply this just by knowing what you like and, you know, the technique of adding water and watching the soap actually turn into lather. So comment below and let me know how do you do your lather. If you would like to see another brand uh, lathered, whether it be a vegan or some other random soap, uh, let me know and I'll make that video. 
And if you didn't know, you could even do shave stick in the bowl. So sorry about the video coming up late, but I got busy doing some other things and uh, I didn't feel like doing it super early this morning. So I will see you guys on Sunday. You have a great rest of your week.